streets in New Brunswick and communities around the world that are coming today today to say no! Monsanto! 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 So I'll tell you something. Something has become abundantly clear to me in this issue. Has anybody here been to Atlantic City? Yeah. At least in Atlantic City, you get to decide whether or not you want to gamble. Yeah. Every time a mother goes to a grocery store, she shouldn't have to gamble with the health yeah. of her children and the health of her family. The fact these companies stand against basic labeling standards is a testament to the fact that we cannot let them continue to run our planet, to run our government, to ruin our food supply. And it starts there and it starts today. At least if you go to Atlantic City, you don't have to gamble. But a farmer who plants a crop has to gamble about whether or not pollen from another farm is going to come over to his land. livelihood and the livelihood of our communities and the change that starts here and it starts today we're not going to let them gamble with our health and well-being <laughs> so we're here today working with over 40 organizations that represent faith interest farmers and community groups who are standing up to these interests and saying, you know what, we're not going to buy these products, but we're also going to take back our democracy. We're going to take back our country. We're not going to let decisions about food be made by corporate CEOs and corporate lobbyists. Let me decide what I want to feed my family. Let farmers decide what they want to plant. And stop letting these corporations decide for us. Everybody out here, is there any farmers out here? Any organic farmers? We need to buy food from them. We need to support them. But we also need to take our democracy back. And that's where it starts, and it starts here today. No more gambling with our food, no more gambling with our health, no more gambling with our democracy. We take it back, we take it back now. Thank you all! Yeah.